It's a big day for our little family, Emma. Today I get to marry your mother. Ooh, who's that? Hey. What are you doing here? <laughs> I live here. Uh, not today, you don't. Your suit is pressed and waiting for you at your apartment. Yeah, I have plenty of time. Uh, and don't try to go to the hospital because the staff has orders to turn you away at the door. Okay, relax, Maxie. Okay. You relax. This time around, try being at the church on time. Get out of here. Okay. Bye, Emma. Peace. Emma. Hi. Go. Well, I sent him away. He's not supposed to see you today. And after what happened last time, we're not taking any chances. Are we, Emma? No, we're not. Mm. Belgian waffles? Nuts. What? Uh, on top of the waffles, aren't you allergic? I remember the Halloween parade in the fourth grade. It was like a real, like, horror movie. I think that was, um, Carolyn Ramsey. Oh, I just don't want your face to swell while you're walking down the aisle. I do not have allergies, and besides, everything's gonna be just fine. That's what we said last time, and then the groom went AWOL, and my little cousin Emma decided to turn it into her own show. People think I'm selfish. Well, don't worry. The baby nurse will be here to watch Emma during the ceremony. Baby nurse, Judy Chen from GH. I spoke with her this morning. She should be on her way. Oh, see, somebody's on time. Hello. <gasps> Hi. Uncle Matt, we're running a very tight schedule, so you can give her all the fatherly advice she needs on the way to the church. And that's why I'm here. Since Robert's giving you away, I'm going to be your personal chauffeur. Oh. Perfect. We can put the light on top of the car and run the siren. That's for emergencies? This is an emergency. The way weddings have been going in this town, we're not taking any chances. Okay. Your dress and your shoes are waiting for you at the church. There's a light blue bag for you to put your clothes in after you change. Hey, cross down traffic's really bad, so stay away from Ralton Square and leave as soon as the baby nurse gets here. Scout's honor. This is going to be the happiest day of your life if it kills me. doesn't have that much time left. And of course he wonders how it's going to be for me. He asked me to get tested again. And that was fine with me because it was almost time for the sick month test anyway. And I wanted to be able to tell him that I was okay. So I asked Ellen to give me the test, and he brought over the results last night. I made sure I'd be positive. It's hard to believe, isn't it? <laughs> that I'm a mom and that I'm getting married. It's hard for me to believe. I was just remembering the day you told me you were HIV positive. No matter how hard I tried to hope, I was always afraid this day would never come. Which makes it all the more precious. You're no stinky. The doctor. Okay, I have no fear. Hi. The light is here. <laughs> the siren, not necessary. No, I think it was very necessary. That was Max's idea. <laughs> I felt like Obama. <laughs> Well, we don't want anything to go wrong this time, and Max has put the fear of God in us. I know. I mean, I appreciate everything she's doing, but she's driving me a little crazy. That's why I asked for some private time with you to do your makeup. Good. Oh, good. Okay, okay. Well, listen, my job is done here. Just let Maxie handle the details. No speeches. But I love you. I love you, too. Okay. <laughs> Bye. See Bye -bye. you soon. All right. See you in a bit. Oh, listen, if you see your brother, he needs a little propping up. Oh, I'm so glad. We kind of had a little practice the last time. It's good. We shouldn't make any mistakes. I'm really glad my strong-willed granddaughter made her entry when she did. She's so pushy. She is. She's a lot like us. Yeah. I'm so proud. I love you very much. I love you, too. Let's get started. Okay. Okay, okay, you can relax, all right? I got Robin here without incident. Anna's getting her ready now, and uh, don't listen to Maxie. About what? About something going wrong. Why would Maxie think that something's gonna go wrong? Because of what happened last time.
Okay, Max is all stressed out, and I thought that's what... Wait a minute, I recognize that look. I saw it in the mirror the morning I was going to walk Robin down the aisle. It isn't stress, it's terror. Bloody right. Well, I'm really glad the first wedding didn't come off. So you're happy that you could see me here and melt down in person? I'm happy you're going to walk Robin down the aisle. Don't think I'm not grateful to be here. You know, I haven't forgotten the fact that a lot of what we're doing here now is largely due to you. I mean, you're the one that saw through all the tough stuff, the HIV, the loss of her first love. I never thanked you for that. You don't have to thank me, all right? You just, look, it wasn't your choice. I'm just grateful you entrusted Robin to me. You did good, little brother. You did real good. You're early. Want to make it up to the bride since last time you were so late? I can't wait to marry Robin. I wish I could see it. What do you mean? Well, uh, circumstances have, have changed. I, uh, I don't want to risk anything, you know? Dangerous. So I'm not going to be making a public appearance, so that's why I just came by to, to wish Robin well. I'm glad I ran into you. Can I... Do you have time? Yeah. I know you know how special Robin is and what she's been through in her life and how badly she's been hurt. You need to know that she's taken a leap of faith making this commitment and, you know, reaching for, for this happiness. I know how much this means to Robin. And I know how much it means to you. And I feel like the luckiest guy in the world that, that I'm the one she's making the leap with. And I promise I'm going to do everything in my power to give her everything that she deserves.